The Siamese Black Magic in Thailand. Chapter 3. Roaming head, the sorcerer's head leaves the body to wander. Black magic can cause death without causing the slightest pain. It is said that when a sorcerer has successfully learned the black magic skill, he can let his head and stomach, including the intestines, leave his physical body and wander in the air. The act can only be performed after midnight when it is dark and quiet. This is known as the night roaming spirit of the sorcerer. However, According to the Malays, a person's head can leave the body as because he has not been successful in picking up the black magic skill, and it is known as the roaming head if the skill has been successfully picked up. The person need not suffer from the agony of separating the head and body. The roaming head roams about every night like a wandering spirit and attaches the stomach and intestines with it. When it gets hungry, it will feed on the waste left behind by children. The children who have their waste eaten up will suffer bad fortune. They will fall sick, meet with disaster or die. In ancient days if children left their potty outside the house, the adults would advise them to use two cross twigs and place them on top of their waist, by so doing, the roaming head would not consume it. They will also advise the young not to dry their clothes outside the house at night for fear that the roaming head will knock on them and invite bad fortune. This is in case the clothing is white, easily attracting the roaming head. Generally. When the roaming head is on a survey, it must return to connect back to the body before the rooster crows and the sky brightens up. If not, it will die once it is in contact with sunlight. The sorcerer who practices the spell will appear like any other ordinary person, except there are no reversed images of others in his pupils. The sorcerers who have successfully acquired the black magic skills will not become the roaming head but can use roaming head to cause harm to their rivals. In most cases, they use the roaming head to trace the person's natal data and the whereabout of the opponents. This is the skill of the highest degree that all sorcerers aspire to be able to perform it. There is also a method where the roaming head is used to go to the rival's house to usher the soul. It is done by just calling the name of the rival, and once the call is acknowledged, his soul will be taken away, and the person is immediately cast with the black magic. The method will only be effective if the rival answers the call. Up to these days, black magic remains a mysterious witchcraft that can cause a mysterious death. Many people have died of such deaths all over the world, and doctors are unable to determine the cause of the end. Those who die of black magic are without symptoms of any sickness. The two types of black magic casting use the five poisons. Most people are dreadful with black magic. The main functions of the good type are to help others to dispel black magic and save a life. Sorcerers well versed in black magic can generally be classified into the upright and the evil categories. The evil sorcerer emphasizes money before anything else. When they can make good money from casting black magic, they can apply the most severe methods without any other consideration. They are at full liberty to use their practice and cause death without much difficulty. As it is difficult to trace the death caused by the sorcerers without a scientific basis, they can easily escape the force of law. Black magic is the basis for causing harm to another. Therefore, selecting the ingredients is the most frightening material, such as using the five most poisonous animals. The five toxic animals include the snake, centipede, scorpion, spider, and toad. These five types of animals contain natural toxic properties that are most frequently used to cast black magic. The sorcerers will first use their secret methods to extract the poisons from these animals and place them in a jar. They continue to add into the pot a giant centipede, a cobra, and a poisonous scorpion daily and allow the deadly insects to fight with each other inside the jar of toxic liquid until they are dead inside the tightly sealed jar. There are two ways of casting the black magic of the five poisons, categorized as the living and death methods. 1. The living method, all that must be done is to place the poisonous animal into a bowl, complemented with the natal data of the person on whom the black magic is focused, and have mantras chanted over. After that, the chanted materials include the snake, centipede, 
and scorpion kept inside the house of the person, and the poisonous materials will find and cause harm to the victim and have him bitten to death. As the animal is small, they are not easy to discover and are not preventive. Once the victim is attacked and dies, it can only be classified as an accidental death which does not form any suspicious basis for murder. 2. The death method, to grind the ingredients into fine form complemented with other essential elements, and the chanting of the mantras can then be mixed with foods and drinks. The time taken for the poison to take effect on the victim is uncertain, it all depends on the type of mantras to be chanted by the sorcerer. Some may take effect immediately, but some may take as long as two to three years. Irrespective of the time taken for the impact, the victim will be in severe agony and suffer a horrifying death once its development takes place. Many creeping creatures will emerge from the victim's dead body until his stomach is broken open and the intestines oozing out. Bleeding will be all over. The sorcerer will name the black magic as the scorpion black magic, snake black magic, spider black magic, centipede black magic, toad black magic, and so on, according to the initial prescriptions used. As to which of them is most powerful, there is no standard set, and it will depend on the individual sorcerer's skills. And this is the poisonous object for applying this type of black magic. Thank you.